Thank you, band, uh, for that ministry of music. We never take that for granted, and uh, we thank you, musicians, for your preparation and, and your worshiping with us. Well, would you join me up here, sir? If uh, you've been involved in the midweek Bible studies, uh, you've met Will Myers. Or if you've been involved in the adult uh, Sunday school class here that meets back here in the mornings, you've met Will Myers. Or if you've seen him standing out by the, uh, the welcome table out here, you've met Will Myers. But if not, you're going to meet Will Myers this morning. Will, stand over here if you would, please, sir. Will has uh, recently been enrolled as an adherent of this core, and we thought it would be good to introduce him to you and have him share a few moments of his life. And uh, so uh, be in prayer for him, because this is not a comfortable place for him right now, is it, Will? And so, but he will do well. In fact, he says, Will, how may I help you? And he can help us today by telling about himself. Will, tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe where you're from and a little bit about your family. I'm from Akron, Ohio, and um, it was uh, kind of a nice little town to grow up in when I was younger. You know, the factories and kept everything going. And I remember hearing the shift whistles blowing and even when I hear the trains coming down and the whistles blowing every once in a while at night time, it takes me back to that mm -hmm. time. So, uh, you know, was, I moved down here. Um, unfortunately, those factories were shut down mm -hmm. in uh, the late uh, 70s and early 80s. And around 1981, I moved down here to Florida with my mother. And uh, uh, I got into roofing and did that for a spell. And, then um, I got into commercial fishing and lived on a boat, and that was kind of interesting. But my last trip, I just couldn't wait to get back in land mm -hmm. and be a land lover. <laughs> so uh, I went to trade school and I picked up a career in air conditioning, and uh, I was fortunate enough to find work here in Clearwater. And uh, I've been with the same company for 30 years. Wow. And I've kind of changed my career, and I'm actually working for uh, another company. I have two jobs. Mm -hmm. and, I, I kind of enjoy that. It's factory work and good. inside. So. Good. Thank you. So tell us about your life a little bit before you met the Lord. Well, um, it goes back to, there's a story in one of the readers that I uh, picked up. And it was about uh, three men from the same town. And they went fishing. And uh, while they were waiting for um, a bite, and the one man, he decided to uh, confess his sins. You know, so he's like, he said, uh, I'm a drinker, and uh, I smoke, and I curse, and so the next guy, he said, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a gambler, and I'm greedy, and I lie, and the uh, next man, he said, you know, fellas, I probably should have told you my sin before you told me yours, because I'm arrogant, I'm boastful, and I'm an uncontrollable gossip, and I just can't <laughs> wait to get back to town, so... I hope none of you guys are gossips here, <laughs> but those guys, they, they didn't have the right person to confess mm -hmm. their sin to. Yeah. So, you know, all those things I was, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I, um, I have Christ in my heart. And he says that um, if I abide in you, mm -hmm. uh, then and you abide in me, and the Father does not see your sin, mm -hmm. he sees me. I see. How long have you known the Lord? Well, um, the Lord came to me actually as a statue when I was young, you know, mm -hmm. in the church. And <laughs> so I was brought up in Catholic. And uh, so through pictures and even um, a picture over my grandmother's dining room table, you know, it was an image. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was probably around 16, 17 years old when the Lord did what he said he was going to do mm -hmm. and, and sent his spirit mm -hmm. to me. I see. And, and so that's when I accepted the Lord and came to me through His Spirit. And, and how did you meet the Clearwater Corps? How did you come up with us? Uh, an invitation, mm -hmm. just an invitation. And just like, you know, the Spirit will send you an invitation, you just have to say yes. Mm. I'm so glad I did. God knows how many times I've passed by this place. Mm. And I'm so happy that I stepped in. Well, wow. and we are too. Remember that an invitation is all it took, folks. So, and thank you, because I know many of you are inviting people as well. And thank you for doing that. Let's bow for prayer as we pray for Will this morning. Our God, we thank you for Will. We thank you for his testimony. We thank you for his enthusiasm. We thank you for his life, the way you've brought him uh, to a knowledge of understanding of you and a knowledge of you. And, and, and he senses your love and care for him. 
Thank you for the care and commitment he has in this congregation in sharing with other people about you and doing so today even, even as we've heard for the last few moments. Bless him, guide him, strengthen him, and bless him as he continues to minister in this church and in this community. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's give Will a hand. Thank you. Thank you, Will. Thank you.